What's up, peeps, and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. Last we left off, we went from Filing Shrine to the Undead Burg, and now we are here. We are here in front of the Fog Gate. So, first thing to do, do not run up ahead. You can do that if you want, but, I, you know, each to their own. First thing you want to do is climb up this ladder. You want to dispatch these two assholes who are lying in wait. Trying to be all sneaky like. Bullshit, buddy. Try to. Got me in the. I'm not even sure he managed to get that. <laughs> in. Uh, but you want to take care of those. Uh, you want to equip your pine resin. And. Walk across, run across, and then come back here. Go back up the ladder as quickly as you can. At which point he'll be up there, down there, sorry. I do not stay up here for too long because he will jump up at you and try to mess your shit. So instead, jump down on his face. Uh, stay between his legs or stay around his legs. And do not. He did. <laughs> I was going to say, do not venture too far down the bridge. And if you do, uh, make sure that you are never in this position here, like this, or like this, or like this, because uh, he can knock your ass right out the playing field. Like, straight out. He'd be like, nah, uh, uh, I'm going to knock your ass out. Uh, even if you're blocking, he will make you bounce back. Uh, and that goes for these holes as well, all of those. Um, yeah, he can he can wreck your shit. But uh, the quick way to get past him is imbue your weapon with some lightning. And they'll be like, Tish, my lightning, fucker! Like we did. So yeah, that, the first two bosses that we've encountered, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you know how to handle them. Now we're gonna go see our son bro here. What's up, buddy? Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> You're one crazy mofo. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Um. Be gentle with me? The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? I guess we can do that. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. White sign, substance. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this. To summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Jolly Those cooperation. Are the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He gave us a soapstone, which means that co-op play or multiplayer has been. Uh, has been unlocked. Uh, as we approach the bridge, notice the scorch marks on the floor. Yeah, that's supposed to be a warning. <laughs> and you want to run, and I do mean run, hug that right wall. And get down those stairs. Uh, because there's the drake, the wyvern, 
and he's gonna try and um, he's gonna try and turn you into fried chicken. You don't want to turn into fried chicken just yet, so yeah. And this is the ladder that we were at that I was showing off previously, and we're back here now, back in this area, and we are just gonna do a little bit more of leveling up because we can. Uh, let's pour some stuff into strength. No. Yes. Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah. It's still staggering. Never mind. Um, yeah. Got dead. And from here, just come back up here. Now, uh, going back to the merchant and getting the the Drake sword. So you can get the the Drake sword by uh, chopping off or uh, dealing enough damage to the Wyvern's tail, uh, and it'll drop off, and you'll get the sword. Now there's several ways to go about this. You can either do it on the bridge itself, lure him down, and then uh, go guns ho on the tail. Uh, the other method, which takes, I can't remember if it's a hundred arrows or whatnot, two hundred arrows, um, is to, yeah, is to buy the bow, buy yourself good two hundred arrows, sit your butt here, and hit that tail, hit that swaying tail. Uh, to get the to get the sword, he will um, every couple of hits he will jump down, uh, try to cause some mayhem on the bridge, and then uh, go back to his spot. Now there was a I can't remember if they patched it or not, or if there was something you could do about it. But um, I think it's just the tail that's susceptible to damage because. The if you deal enough damage to oh shit he dropped off <laughs> if you deal enough damage to the wyvern himself he will sort of go into this hugging stance and um whoa buddy I'm cool with rats don't be like that with me take that <laughs> yeah, do not get poisoned either. Uh, at this point in the game, you it, it's unlikely that you'll have any uh, any antidotes, any moss, I should say, to cure you. So poison is bad because poison will just uh, eat away at your health until you've got nothing left. So. Uh, don't get poisoned at this point. Take your time with it. Take them out individually if you must. Throw some shit at them if you want to. Uh, but the underlying point is don't um, don't get poisoned. Now we are in the undead parish. Come here, bud. You did. You'll see the boar. Well, before we go up, I'll show what's down. <laughs> now, you might just be able to see it. So we can see the shadow of the drake there. Uh, this is the end of the bridge, right there. And there's a bonfire here. And there's the uh, sunlight altar through that door over there. Uh, you can run past the dragon at this point, open that up and rest of that bonfire which it's nicely placed it's a nice starting point for this area however the drake will fly away he will come back later it's high risk situation uh, it has its rewards you can do it if you want to uh, I'm not <laughs> not at this point anyway now now we've I was going to say we've triggered the one on the right there is a boar here this boar is a one time opportunity for you to, to kill. Um, and he is 
I wouldn't say he's difficult, but he is well armoured. Uh, the only vulnerable spot is his butt. So, what you want to do, or what I tend to do is... As... Yeah, I was going to say it. If you get him into a charging stance, and then run back here... God damn, that was pathetic. That shit was pathetic. Man. I am trying to be careful to not... He does a lot of damage. I'm trying to get the... Um, The, uh, the backstab in there, but it's not letting me for some reason. Because you can do backstabs on that ball. Take it up the ass. We'll get him to take it up the ass. Where's the boar at? Spear! Come on, big guy. Oh, he's gonna hit me in the back. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna hit me there. There we go. Take it in the ass. Drop. Ah, oh, god dang it. You can get the, the helmet as a drop. Uh, the helmet is really awesome, especially with the bandit set. Uh, it's one of the my favorite combos. Having the... Um, the bandit set on top of having the uh, the boar's helmet. Dude! Not cool, man. Not cool. Chugga chug chug. You won't play, huh? You did. And they should all be dead by now. Uh, yes, while we're here, we're going to grab that. You'll see this uh, portcullis drop as well. You can run past all of them. In fact, you can run uh, up those stairs, through here, and then lunge across. And you'll land before they can trigger the bridge. Uh, and the portcullis will stay up. And it means that you get to avoid the the bullshit in the next area of the 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 undead citizens I guess um, would be a, an apt way to describe them. So yeah, so this dude is like, ha 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 ha, and you can use the fire to take him out as well. The fire does do a lot of damage to these hollows, so that is another way to get past. Um, yeah, don't fall for his bullshit, his running away bullshit, because if you decide to run away, there's even blood on the floor uh, to sort of try and help you out. If you run, there's guys waiting in ambush. And although individually these guys are okay, collectively, when they do that, that particular set, uh, they do a lot of damage. They'll, they'll um, well, they'll drain your stamina, and then uh, they'll just hack and slash into you. So, it's best to just take them out individually. You dead, and you dead until you are all dead. You dead too. I'm just gonna grab this mystery key so that we can free an NPC later on. D 
these guys are here. Oh shit. Missed my attack. Got you though. I got you good, huh? There's an item there, we're just gonna grab that. Kill. Kill. And up we go. I believe at this point there's all the bullshit's been handled. Yep. Yeah. So just gonna walk across this light. And this is the area that we were in previously, right here. And you can either go up or you can go down. We're gonna go down here first. Top up our health. Won't be sneaky about this. This dude got a lot of HP. Take it in the butt. Take it in the butt. And you did. Damn it. And we got the night shield. Night shield is a decent shield to have. It's even got more defense than we currently have. Uh, same amount of stability. It even weighs less. Oh no, it weighs more, sorry. We're going to keep what we have on. It's decent shield, I like it. Uh, next up is these stairs. There's a dude to the left, yep. Take it, take it. And over here. There's an enemy to the right and an enemy to the left. Whoa! Guys, one at a time, please. <laughs> Who did? You did. <laughs> You dead too. Let's go. Cool. I was gonna say usually the best way would have been to go left, because the, the spear dudes usually raise their shields and are a lot slower. Um therefore easier to take the um the dude on the right. That dude on the left, sorry. So we're just gonna go deal with this guy who ran away from us. Pick up the key to the basement. and open up the port colors. Now, uh, I'm gonna grab this, but don't walk too close to the door or this will happen. <laughs> uh, you'll, uh, you'll draw these guys in. And there's three in total, plus the big guy, which you'll only get to encounter once. So, yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can walk past the door if you want to take him on. I mean, it's up to you. It really is up to you how you want to deal with it. But, 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 I want to take care of these guys. Got you. Got you. And got you too. So yeah, I mean, you want to leave the church alone, the chapel. Just go right for now. Down the steps. And you'll hear the tinkering of an old blacksmith. Bonfire. Nice. Nice. And Blacksmith. Right here. What's up, big guy? Well, you must be a new arrival. If you 
require smithing, then speak to me. Thank you. Yeah, he's got. Hurrah! He's uh, he's got a lot of cool shit, including upgrade materials, which we are going to use later on, and the crest of Artorias, which we're also going to need. Uh, yeah, he's got some more weapons that you might want. He's got some ammunition and some bolts. Pretty damn cool. He's also got some uh, some cool dialogue, a lot of co cut content regarding him, which is a shame. He was going to be really cool. His role was heavily uh, downgraded um, in the in the end cut. But in any case, more on that next episode. Stay tuned for some more Dark Souls coming out soon. Until then, as always, stay awesome.